Hi, I'm Mark Strayton with Movandi, and I'm here today with Joe Madden, founder of Mobile Experts. Mobile Experts is used by over 200 companies around the world for, because of the excellence in their research on the mobile industry. And today we're here to talk about a first of its kind test that Movandi did and Joe came uh, to look at. And what we were testing was the strength of millimeter wave in a mobile moving car. Joe, why was it important to the industry? And then we'll get into what you saw today. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's important to the industry to start offloading some data to the millimeter wave network. Uh, we're running out of capacity below six gigahertz. And so it's extremely important to get a, a substantial portion of our outdoor traffic onto the millimeter wave bands. I, I love the test today here in Cupertino uh, because we were able to test in a moving car going down De Anza Boulevard right. with a series of G-Note Bs. I think that's a very realistic scenario for how people would really use this network. So we're here in Cupertino today and we did the test uh, across six Gino Bs over about five kilometers, I guess, round trip. It was a, a Verizon Ultra Wideband Network. So what did you see? Uh, well, it was a great test, and it's a use case I hadn't thought much about, Mark. Uh, we, we put a repeater in a moving car in order to improve the experience for a smartphone user inside the car. For me, it was a noticeable difference. Uh, uh, you know, this is, this is one of the problems that we have with uh, millimeter wave usage. We want to offload this outdoor data, but most of the time, at least in the United States, when people are outdoors and doing something and going somewhere and using data, they're often inside a moving vehicle, a train, a bus, yeah. a car. We have these issues of penetration of the glass and the steel of the car itself. So in our first test, we had the repeater shut off. We're essentially just doing speed tests on yeah. smartphones as we drove down Deans Boulevard. What I found was that, you know, the performance coming through the window of the car was, was a little spotty. And even where we hold the phone inside the car, down in my lap or up here above, above the, yeah. the level of the window, uh, made a big difference in the, the kind of performance that we saw. And so that was okay. I mean, that was to be expected. When we turned the repeaters on, uh, we found that we had a very consistent consistent experience. As we drove down 30 miles an hour going down the road, yep. uh, we were handing off from one Geno B to the next. Uh, that handoff was seamless. We did a video call where we essentially saw no interruptions in the video. Uh, and we saw consistent two gigabit sort of performance uh, in the downlink. Uh, so, you know, from my point of view, that was a very successful and very noticeable difference. Essentially, we got the kind of performance that you get in a smartphone standing outdoors stationary. Uh, we were able to duplicate that kind of performance in a moving car inside the cage of the car. I want to thank you for your time today and uh, your interest. Yeah, thank you, Mark.